Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What's going on, buddy? My name is Zella Prince, and welcome back to the SCPs of Sodor. Now, we are watching the, the next video that came out literally a week ago when I'm recording this, but I'm recording it as I recorded the last few videos. This is Fortune Favors the Lucky. Assuming this is going to be talking about the Lucky Lamp. So, um, hopefully you guys are enjoying me reacting to Victor Trantic's videos. I really do love watching his videos, so whenever Season 5 of, uh, Stories of Soder comes out, I will be reacting to that. As you guys did here in the last video, or you did not watch it, go watch it. I said I was skeptical of watching uh, Thomas related videos on my channel because that's not what my channel is usually based around. But I say, the hell with it. We're going to go reacting to it and see what, what uh, you guys think of it. But I'm just now doing it for the fun of it because somewhere down the line, I'm going to be reacting to Sodor Eclipse. Full story. I do not full the, know the whole full story. All I know is from what a video made by Daylight 3 made. Uh, I do re re regularly watch it every now and then. But if videos I watch down the, low, down the line of Sodor as, uh, as, as I can see, I'm going to go back to watching uh, Daylight 3's uh, on a soda. But that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and react to Fortune Favors the Lucky by Victor Transic in three, two. That's water! <sighs> For you. Yeah. Rod. Arrogate Dungeon. Uh oh. And Rob, get it the hell out of here on the western, eastern front. Crap, I just dropped something. I'll pick it up. Oh, R.O.D. How close did you come to buying it this time? Hey, Stanley. Too bloody close. Rubbish. The Jerry's couldn't hit the side of a barn. They don't have to when they can blow it to hell. Ah, don't be such a big girl's blouse. Attention! Attention! Oh, God, it's Benson. Morning, Colonel. Good morning, Corporal. I understand congratulations are in order. Bring back a train load of wounded out of fire? Outstanding. You could learn a thing or ten from him, Private. I'm doing my best, sir. That's what terrifies me. I would ask how on God's green earth you managed to land in your current predicament, but we have more important matters to discuss. Corporal, I need you to run a train to Montsebia. Intelligence reports that Jerry's are gearing up for an assault. Get this ammunition to the fort on the double, and once Private Disaster has been rerailed, he will follow with a shipment of medical supplies, unless he's waylaid by another catastrophe. Now hop to it! Sir, yes sir! I respect that man, but the way he treats you, does he think you ask for this? I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> I'm bad luck and there's nothing anyone can do about it. You shouldn't always look to others to fix your problems, Stanley. You should take some initiative. Try adopting a new attitude. Take me for example, every time I'm about to do something, no matter how big or small, I tell myself I can. This is the guy's name. You really think that's why you're so lucky? It's not luck, Stanley. It's self-confidence. It's how I got to be where I am today. Give it a try. I promise it'll work. I'll think about it. Thanks, Kyle. No way. Kyle, worries. that's his name. All right. Oh. 
Oh god, he's on the fire again. <laughs> I think Kyle's gonna bite the bite the dust. Yeah, he's dead. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> Knew you for all of four minutes, <laughs> maybe less. Lamp? What? Why are you in cot with Kyle? Wait. Is it a spirit that follows the lamp? Or that's in the lamp? That would actually make a sense. Crosby, 1958. He's breaking into something. For you. A run for it. He ain't getting far. You know what I just thought of since we're on the topic of SCPs? Him blowing the whistles and him and the cops chase made me think of the, the Bobbies on London. Hey, there's the lucky lamp. Gonna take the truck and that's gonna fall out, isn't it? Proven. Oh, <laughs> this is the, this is that diesel app. Yep, <laughs> this is, what was his name? Josh. I think his name was Josh. Joshua. Was it? Yep. This is that episode. Literally that episode. Colonel. Same guy from, um... Uh, it's the same guy from the last episode. Oh, the lamp's gone. Yeah, it's the same crew. Sorry, sir. It's given us the slip again. What do you mean, again? I take it you're unaware the Foundation has been on Sodor before. Yes, sir. When was the last time? 1955. We were tracking a hostile SCP in the surrounding waters. During that operation, we learned the island has a history of anomalous activity. We investigated these events, as well as reports of a creature lurking in a nearby valley. Nothing came of it. We did get hold of the lamp, but it disappeared before we could perform any tests. How? We don't know. But given all the stories we heard about it, it sounds like it 
has a mind of its own. And as I told you then, Agent Potter, anecdotes are not science. With all due respect, sir, those anecdotes are why we looked into the lamp in the first place. Very true. <laughs> He's trying to disarm the commander. No sense brooding about it. Not lead lead researcher. To do. Has the radar been recalibrated? Yes, sir. Then let's proceed. Uh oh. Oh, they're still doing tests on. class describe insanity as doing the same thing over and over again, thinking things will turn out different. I sometimes wonder if science is just organized insanity. It may well be, but Dr. Pierce is right that perseverance is important. It's how I was able to discover Atlantis. I'm sure we'll find the lamp eventually. I wonder where it is. Wait, is that an SCP? It needs to be. Jeffrey, 1959. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, I can't remember the name of the episode. In season four. Right before the, uh... Almost the episode. I can't remember the name of it. Proven. Oh, was this when they found out? Who, um... Can't remember the actual character's name. Bailey, there we go. Bailey, I couldn't remember that name. Ciphering. Find this. It was among some papers the police sees. None of them could translate the language, but I said I might know someone who can. And they just let you remove evidence like that? I'm mates with the chief inspector on the case. And why is our local police matter our concern? The symbols on the paper look like the ones on the cave. I thought maybe they might have some information that could help us. Excellent initiative. What do you make of it, Dr. Hatley? Well, it's old Sudrian. This was the language they spoke during the time of King Godred. It's a lot easier to translate than its ancient counterpart. Um, I don't see any mention of the cave. In fact, this reads a lot more like directions. To what? I'm not sure yet, but they start from... The Standing Stones. Standing Stones of Sodor. Something beyond the Standing Stones. This is where they stop, and the text gave no clue what might be here. No, sir, none. Maybe it's King Godred's treasure. I doubt that. <laughs> only one way to know. Yeah, no. Sure. Start digging. Why don't you think it's the treasure, ma'am? Because it might not exist. But isn't it part of the legend? No, that's a common misconception. The legend doesn't make any mention whatsoever about buried treasure. It certainly doesn't say anything about a magic crown that makes the wearer immortal. Then where did all that come from? Oh, they hit something. What should be, what should be the crown? Is it the tools? Huh. Are you sure the treasure doesn't exist, Dr. Hatley? Even if it does, there's no way it would consist entirely of diamonds, South African diamonds, no less. My Wait. Were jewelers. They also told me a story about how a lot- Wait a minute, is this the, the jewelry theft that Whiff was talking about? I forgot what it was called. The uh, exact robbery. Is this the, the robbery that they were talking about? Our shipment was stolen during the Second Boer War. Do you yes, it is. Diamond heist, sir? You think this could be it? I do. If so, the question becomes how they came here. The map also raises some questions. I've held a lot of ancient papers in my time. By the feel alone, I can tell it isn't all that old. Maybe a few decades at most. But who would know this much old Sudrian? And why would they use it? Perhaps as a code. If I hid something valuable, I'd make sure I was the only one who could find it. Using a dead language sounds like a good idea to me. Indeed, these diamonds will prove very... Very useful. I've been petitioning the foundation to construct a new facility on Sodor, something more suitable than
than an aging wartime fort, they've always denied my request for budgetary reasons. I suspect that won't be a problem now. Does that mean the matter is closed, sir? Not quite. My curiosity has been piqued and my instincts tell me we should press this further. I want you to speak to the man who had that crate of documents on Earth, see what he knows about the diamonds and the map. What the... Guy's name. I can't remember his name. Oh, Bailey. Oh, he, he. Andreas. I got, I ain't got nothing to say in case nobody's seen it yet. Hey, the lucky lamps in the background. Oh, I thought the lamp was going to be gone. The lamp strikes again. The lamp and you, Jack. All I did was ask for a lift. It was lucky you did. I don't fancy getting flattened by rocks. No, that'd be one of the worst ways to go. But you made out one piece. Make sure you stay that way. I will. See you later, Jack. Later. Is something wrong, Stanley? I just had a feeling of deja vu. I was somehow reminded about a friend who was killed on the Western Front. Was this the fellow you talked about back on the MSR? The really lucky engine? What was his name again? Corporal Kyle Proteus. Oh. What the hell was that? K -k kyle Stanley? You can see me? Of course I can see you! You can hear me too? Oh my god! Uh oh. <laughs> Foundation are nearby. <laughs> Under the witnesses. I ain't gonna remember this. His soul is trapped inside the lamp. You're absolutely sure? Yes, sir. We amnesitized everyone. What about this engine? You said he disappeared after you picked up the lamp? Yes, sir. So I set it back down, said his name, and he came back. I picked up the lamp again, and poof, he was gone. I feel like a prat for doing that. You shouldn't. That was good science. Well done. But why were you even there? We spoke to the man as instructed. His father was one of the boars who stole the diamonds. He then ripped off his comrades and fled to Sodor. After he died, he willed them to a friend of his, a fellow named Jackson Bailey. I guess oh. his son was not content to let that happen. No, sir. He had his thugs track him down, but he gave them a thrashing. They were able to steal the map which he was carrying at the time, but they were never able to read it. Does this Mr. Bailey have a background studying languages? He doesn't have much of a background, sir. It seems everyone knows of him, but can't say anything about him except that he's a hard man to fight and find. Still, we were given a lead that led us to Sudwin. Lucky we followed it. Sudwin. Indeed. Let's see if our luck continues. Corporal Kyle Proteus? You're just gonna oh there he is good science my ass what you did was cruel do you have any idea how long it's been since i've spoken with someone anyone then we may as well make the most of this opportunity your war department file says you were killed in action what can you tell us about that experience it was quick extremely painful but quick i started floating as i was looking down the wreckage i spotted the lamp when i did i started drifting back towards the ground and kind of latched onto it how i don't know i just did ever since i've been completely invisible i didn't know saying my name would fix that and i have no idea why it did what hmm. about your properties as a good luck charm do they stem from you or the lamp probably the lamp because i don't actually do anything you don't influence the world around you no whenever i show up good things just 
happen most of the time. Last year I appeared in the back of a lorry that was stolen. It broke down on the main line and the driver scarpered. Not long after he did, a train crashed into it. That wasn't so lucky. I beg to differ. I mean, nobody was seriously hurt and the police did catch that man. He was wanted for a number of burglaries. Even so, sometimes I feel like such a fraud, but other times I do feel immense satisfaction helping others. How is it you always seem to appear at the location of imminent disasters? Ever since I became whatever I am, I've developed a sixth sense. I can't explain it, but it comes on as a kind of urge that I have to... What is it? The urge. It's coming on. I have to go. We're not quite done. Sorry, but I can't ignore it. I have to be somewhere. Do you expect us to carry you there? No, I don't. And he just goes... Oh, <laughs> the lamp just disappeared. But that's how it moves around. The Foundation tried finding the lamp, but never did. Shiver me timbers, this Proteus bloke sounds like he's living a hard life, going unseen, unheard, and unthanked despite doing so much good. Indeed, I thought his name was Kyle. It isn't true. What about the rest of it? If you mean King Godred's treasure, it turns out it isn't mentioned in the legend, and there's a reason for that. It doesn't exist. According to a book published in 1968, it was part of a tourism campaign by the island's council back in 1852. So the Crown all that was a publicity stunt? Indeed. It's amazing how easily history can be influenced. How about the diamonds? Bro. Wasn't Whiff involved in the heist? Yes. He later found out his guard was connected with the Boars. He tipped them off about the diamonds. Nobody knows what happened to them after that. My guess is they split the loot and went their separate ways. So you don't think this old Bailey bloke got hold of them? No, I don't. Then again, I often wondered how he made a living. Being a fogman did not pay very well. Why would mm. he bury them? He didn't trust banks. It's all academic anyway. As I said, I don't believe those diamonds ended up on Sodor. If they did, it would explain Camp Cody. That place never made sense to me. If the MOD wanted to cut costs, why didn't they just pull out entirely? I guess because it wasn't the MOD who built it. I'm guessing it wasn't the foundation either. Remember they closed Camp Cody back in 1991? I do now. I also remember the last time anyone saw the lamp was during that whole business with Sir Topham and the hospital. Where do you think it is now? Wherever it needs to be. I know where it is now. He got saved by old friend again. Oh, so the lamp can't even be contained by the SCP Foundation. Just moves as it will. Oh, wait, hold on. Caught it just in time. <laughs> so the lamp can't even be contained by the SCP Foundation. It's like it's a Keter entity now. Keter uncontained. What was the, I forgot. Keter had to do it an uncontainable measure. Like I said, it's been a long time since we actually watched any SCP related video. But I think I'm gonna leave that off today. Another great episode by Victor Tanzik. It does explain a lot of what happened in previous episodes. I'm saying all the way back in like early season four all the way up to the present ending of season four itself uh i don't know if, if this goes back any further towards other episodes like season three two one i don't know if it goes that far back but that truly being said guys hopefully you guys didn't enjoy this reaction video the next video i will be react to won't be a victor transit video That'll be after next video I react to. Be another Nukes Top 5 video just in time. Next video. Bye.